Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Yesterday I went to visit my sister and we had a marvelous time together. And one of the things we did is we went and watched the Sound of Freedom movie. And we are just absolutely thrilled because it's the number one movie in the nation now. It beat out Disney and beat out Indiana Jones. And that is just wonderful. If you want to go see that movie, you better get out and go see it. And I believe it's an eye-opener for the child trafficking scene. So it really is great because it was based on an absolute true story. I mean, it's a adventure movie. Really, I mean, it's really got you going like those Indiana Jones movies. It's got you in its grip and you're wondering what's going to happen next and how are they going to get out of this situation. It's a real good movie. But it's not only good because it's an action type movie, but it was based on a true story and it shows how God uses people to free the innocent. And one of the parts in the movie that I really liked was where Jim Caviezel, he plays Tim Ballard. This movie was based upon Tim Ballard who saved the children. And Jim Caviezel was telling this man, he said, it is better that a millstone be wrapped around the neck of the abuser of any of these little ones. That's what Jesus said in the scripture. That's a horrendous thing right there. If you have a millstone put around your neck and you cast into the sea, well, it must mean that the person is going to suffer a lot worse condition than that after this life ends because of what they've done in this life. But my sister and I just really enjoyed our time together and you know how sisters do. They love to talk. <laughs> they love to talk non-stop. We're like little magpies when we get together. But my sister wanted me to bring out some of the topics that we discussed because she thinks this will help people and I am in agreement on this and people may not totally agree but I'll just put the information out there anyway and you can do with it what you want but we were talking about health issues and one of the subjects that came up was aspartame. Now she was telling me that she watched a video about how this was discovered. This very smart man in the scientific field discovered this and he put his fingertip to it and put it to his tongue and tasted it and he said, oh that's sweet. And so they started using this poison to sweeten things like sodas or just a host of things that you can think of and like chewing gum for instance. And that poison can cause Alzheimer's and all sorts of different health conditions from what I've seen on different videos that I've watched. But she quit 
chewing that gum with that in there because of what she's heard about it and she found out it was a poison another thing that we were discussing was sodas now we were talking about how bad sodas are for you and I remember when I was a little kid and I came down with a kidney disease and I tell you what I have never suffered so bad in my life that was a piercing pain in my kidney oh I'll never forget that pain and my mama took me to the doctor and the doctor told me to quit drinking sodas now this was when I was a little kid now probably in the 50s so I don't think I hardly ever drank a soda after that now one time I drank Gatorade and that hurt my kidneys and oh man I wouldn't drink that anymore but then um, as I got older I met this dear friend called Lil I met her when I was in college in Cleveland Tennessee and that was in the 70s and I told her and her husband and family about what happened to me about the kidney issue and I said the doctor said don't drink sodas they couldn't believe that I wouldn't drink sodas they just couldn't wrap their minds around that and later on in life when Leah was about in her 60s she said Brenda oh Brenda you were right she says we used to make fun of you and we were talking about you because you wouldn't drink sodas and she says now I have kidney disease and she had to be on dialysis and I think she even died from kidney disease but she said the doctor told me not to drink sodas but by then it was too late I mean unless the Lord would have given her a divine miracle but I think she really died of kidney disease and she had to be on dialysis but they just didn't believe me they just didn't believe me and that's the way many people are about health issues and about religious issues and about our Jesus people sometimes they just turn a total complete deaf ear they don't want to hear the truth for some reason they just want to go their own way that's the way it is but there are some people who will listen so that's why it's worth speaking up because some people may really listen and there are so many different aspects to nutrition and I try my best to eat right and if you eat right it will really help you on health issues it really will and before I sign off I'd like to tell you this other thing that we were talking about I just love it when God shows up on the scene and he works divine miracles that's what God is known for miracles right and he gives miracles and he works miracles for those that he loves and one time I was telling Linda this about it because we were driving around Bricktown and we passed this one particular intersection and I looked down that road and I says oh that oh this reminds me of what happened to me 
I used to work at OU Health Sciences Center and I would drive home down this particular road and this one day I had this gray van and I went down that road and that van just stopped it was just dead and God worked a wall-eyed miracle for me you're not going to believe this this is what happened though this truly happened and I am not making this up this man comes along stops in front of my van and he gets out and he comes over there and speaks to me and I told him my van just stopped and he said he was a mechanic and we discussed the car and he said I'll buy your car from you so I jumped at the chance <laughs> and we reached an agreement on the price and see he he was real happy about the deal I'm pretty sure because he was a mechanic and he knew that he would be able to fix it and I was real happy to get rid of it so we reached the agreement and I asked him to go down to the tag agency with me but we um, exchanged money and I signed the deed over to him I don't even remember how I got home <laughs> it's been so long ago but I just remember how happy I was it all worked out perfectly in the mighty name of Jesus, amen.